Back to that loss against Ole Miss, you always talk about the pain of losing and the lessons learned from that. How did this team... traveling things like that, but I know we're going to have a chance to sit down. I just think about all the things that's, that's happened this year and be thankful for them, but I mean, it's a drink and chill. To cry? Oh, yeah, enjoy the ride. Dallas is a, uh, a great, great city. Uh, Cabo staff and good year. You know, make sure we had a, a great time to be here, so I've been enjoying my teammates. We had a good year. Uh, we're saying intimidating, but she's not prepared right for them because they're good at what they do. And um, they're very physical, very disruptive. We have uh, a great defense and they did a great job this year, so. Oh yeah, I mean, well, there, there's been a lot of plays that if went if they went one way, we might not be here. But there's also some plays that if they went another way, we, I mean, it would have not even been close. So it's kind of tough to to pinpoint one you know one play in particular. You know, I think they know that's the kind of guy I am, and and uh, you know that's what I want to be. I want to make sure that that they know that, or we all know, each guy's playing for each other, and that's what this team does. And uh, you know, that's why it makes it so special. But, you know, uh, I think that game, I don't know, I think we were all all in and out there on the line. So, uh, you know, it was, we really came together that game, and, and we have really every game. So, uh, you know, it's just been a process of us coming together. Uh, yeah, I, I, think, I think overall I appreciate the way they, they've kind of let me, you know, progress as the season's gone on. They, they kept their trust in me, and it's meant a lot to me. Uh, you know, I think it's helped me play a lot better knowing that they trust me with the ball and, and uh, allow me to, you know, make those plays. Like I, I've said before, living a dream, man, this is uh, I can't imagine being in a better position than we're in right now. So uh, being able to do this, I, I wouldn't trade anything in the world for this. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot to me. It means a lot being from Alabama and, and knowing, you know, knowing how Alabama football is and, and uh, you know, it just it's huge to me. Being able to play for my home state and, and uh, represent them means a lot. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think I think everybody on the team has gotten, especially the offensive side of the ball, has just come together and uh, we got more, a lot more comfortable with each other. Um, you know, figured out what we need to do to win. And, and uh, so I think just overall, the whole team has just gotten a lot more comfortable with each other. And for you, that's what stands out to you. They're, they're a good front seven. Um, they play really hard. You know, and if, any of the last four guys or teams in, in this playoff system are going to have a good defense. You know, defense wins championships is what they always say. Um, they, uh, they're, they're kind of unique. They're really tall inside, so it gives them the ability to be lengthy, um, get skinny in between blocks, and, and kind of make you know, negative plays. It's what kills offensive drives, and uh, they're really good at that. Uh, we've watched them you know, the entire season, all of last year, this season, and um, they've done a great job. So you know, they're kind of like our defense. What they do, they do really well. and. Um, you know, we put a really good game plan together, so we got there next to you. Can you stay focused on the vision, or are you going to be affected by the circumstances that you're dealt with and whatever uh, might happen uh, to you along the way? And that's basically what it is. So you clearly define what the goal is. You clearly define here are the things that we need to do to be able to accomplish that goal. Uh, now the most difficult thing is can we have the discipline to execute it every day and not be affected by external factors. That the way we've been treated here by the Cotton Bowl folks, um, Goodyear as a sponsor, everything that we have done here has been first class. And this is organizationally uh, as fine a, a venue as we've ever been associated with. Because of the kind of character, um, we, we don't have a lot of problems on this team. We have a lot of buy-in. Uh, everybody trying to do what they need to do to help the team be successful. Um, we haven't. So when you have a team like that and you have the kind of leadership that our team has had, you know, as a coach, you just really want to do a good job for that team. Uh, and I, I think that's why I feel this way about this group of guys, whether they're the most talented team we've ever had or not. I guess everybody could have a debate about that. Uh, but certainly from a character, an attitude, 
try to do the things the way you'd like for them to do them as a coach, uh, they've responded and done that the right way and come a long ways as a team. I don't think there were many people after the Ole Miss game thought that we'd ever end up here. But, and I think that's credit to the players in terms of how they responded and the work that they've done. And when you have a group like that as a coach, you, you really want to do a good job for them. I can't tell you how many times a day you know, it, I think about I, I want to do a good job for this group. Uh, really love to see them be successful. I have a chance to be the coach there, and um, I've always loved Michigan State. Still root for him in everything that uh, we do. Uh, Tom Izzo is my favorite basketball coach and a good friend, and uh, our thoughts and prayers are with him and his family over the loss of his father. Bridge with the running back, and how's Jake handled that? Well, I, I think Jake has done a really, really good job of whatever we've asked him to do. Um, I, I think we have done a good job of taking the players that we have on offense, whether it's the quarterback, the running back, the offensive line, the receivers, and developing an identity with that group that gives them the best chance to be successful. Uh, and I think that Jake has embraced that and done a very good job of that. And not once has he ever complained about how much we throw the ball or don't throw it or um, – but because I've always think they've, they've put the success of the team first. And the identity that we've created in doing that has helped us gain confidence offensively and uh, have a better chance to be successful. And I know some would say maybe that's sort of not the prettiest way to do it, but it works and it's been effective for us. What we were trying to get Jake to do early in the season, Jake really wants to please, Jake really wants to do what the coach wants him to do, and maybe the anxiety that that was creating for him and just trying to do what he was supposed to do was just affecting him. He was so worried about what he was supposed to do and trying to do it right that he just wasn't playing the game. And I think that when he didn't start the Ole Miss game, and he came off the bench, he went out and played the game. He ran the ball, he competed in the game, he showed toughness, and he won the team over, you know, because of that. And I think he's played that way the rest of the season, and I think that's why so many of our players have so much respect for him. I can't keep telling you this, man. Stay in the half. Is that good enough?